Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Renee Mero. Thank you so much for joining Zoom in with Renee. Today, my guest is from Mumbai. He's British South Asian actor Danny Sura. And Danny Sura carved a niche for himself in the Bollywood entertainment industry. He's on across all platforms, stage, television, film, video on demand. Danny's popularly known for his TV series, Vidrohi and Sherry Punjab, Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Danny's latest film is IB71, which takes a deep dive into undercover operations, takes us back to the Indo Pak War in 1971. The film stars actor producer Vidra Jamwal, Anupam Kher, Vishal Chekwa, and uh, it's going to be released in India on May 12th. Thank you so much for joining, Danny, from Mumbai. Thank you, Dr. Renee. Thank you for having me. It's uh, my pleasure. You actually became very famous with this TV series, with Rohi. Series with Rohi. Mayor or Mr. Right. So that was actually my first film that I did. And from there, there was no looking back for you. No looking back at all. Yeah, yeah. It's just been a, a great ride ever since. Tell me about this latest film that you are in, and you play the antagonist. It's yeah, ID yeah, yeah. 71, One. Intelligence Bureau 71. It's a spy thriller. It's a patriotic film. But basically, I can only divulge the stuff that they've released in the trailers and stuff because the film hasn't come out yet. So I'm quite limited in what I can share. But yes, uh, as it's been uh, reported in, in the marketing of the film, it's to do with the, the Indo-Pak War uh, in 1971. And basically, the, the unsung heroes of India, how they participated so that India could defend itself against the uh, incoming uh, invasion uh, from Pakistan and uh, China. So it's, it's all the stories about that, uh, you know, the people uh, who participated in it. And it's all confidential as well. So no one knows about it. Secret this mission. is the first secret time mission. that it's going to yeah. be. It's, 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 it's secret mission. So it's going to be revealed for the first time on May 12th about what exactly happened and uh, who are responsible for India's safety, basically, which is the uh, Intelligence Bureau. And you, it's produced by Vidya Jamwal, internationally re recognized as a martial artist. And we've got yeah. Anubam Kher in there as well. And you yeah, play yeah. the role of Sikandar. Yeah, Sikandar, yeah. They released my look uh, day before yesterday. So, yeah, so uh, my look has finally come out. So I'm playing Sikandar, yeah, one of the main antagonists in the film. And uh, it was a great character to play. Uh, really, really good. You know, very, very fortunate to have had the opportunity to be in this film. So how did you get this role? Uh, it was directed by Sankal Reddy. And he directed a, a great film called The Ghazi Attack, uh, which came out about six, seven years ago. It's a, it's a film predominantly set uh, on a submarine. So that's never been done in a Bollywood cinema before. Uh, so I think I got it through because I auditioned for this. Uh, like 18, 19 months ago. And I think I got it through my manager that uh, there's this audition, there's this role for this film. Uh, why don't you just, you know, do a test and send in your tape? And I did. And um, yeah, I think I got the, the, the nuances of the character down. And uh, I think, you know, it's whatever the director was looking for. I think I just hit that mark. And yeah, and they, they really wanted me on board. So that's, that's nice for an actor to be wanted <laughs> in this industry. So yeah, they really, the director really fought for me to, to be part of this film, actually. So I'm indebted to him. Uh, I owe him a lot. And I believe some of the scenes that were shot, they were in such inclement weather uh, yeah. and uh, you were freezing. Yeah, we shot in Kashmir and uh, so we shot in Srinagar and we shot in Pelgam. Uh, it, was, it was very cold, very cold. Uh, but that's part and parcel of, of the industry. We're actors and... Uh, we got to do the job. So, you know, when, when, no matter what the conditions and stuff, there's not only just us there, you've got the cameraman, you've got the rest of the crew. So we were kind of all in it together as a <laughs> big, happy family. Uh, but no, but that just added to the, to the whole, the atmosphere, uh, the, you know, uh, and just shooting in Kashmir is such a beautiful place. And just seeing, when you watch the film, when you just see what they've captured on celluloid, it's, it's just amazing. It's breathtaking. I think people are really going to admire what's been achieved considering the, the weather conditions that we shot in and stuff. So I think people are going to be very happy. Come on, landing! Come on, landing! We are going to crash! We are going to crash! 
सन अड़तालीस और पैंसठ में पाकिस्तान हमसे दो जंग हारने के बाद इकहत्तर में बड़ी तैयारी कर रहा था और हम अनजान थे मतलब वो पूरी तैयारी करके बैठे हैं हम तो बिल्कुल रेडी नहीं है रिपोर्ट्स के मुताबिक हिंदुस्तान इस हैसियत में नहीं कि हमसे मुकाबला कर सके दस दिन बाद हम पर अटैक होने वाला है चाइना भी उनके साथ है तो ये अटैक तो दो तरफा होगा सर इतने कम समय में आर्मी को माउंटेन ट्रेन में मोबालाइज करना इतना आसान काम नहीं है तो पाकिस्तान और चाइना को ईस्ट में हम रोकेंगे कैसे एयर स्पेस ब्लॉक करके एयर स्पेस ब्लॉक इज इम्पॉसिबल इट्स पॉसिबल सर हाउ पाकिस्तान ऐसा करेगा एंड वाई विल पाकिस्तान डू दैट हम पाकिस्तान से ऐसा करेंगे जो तुम कह रहे हो वो कहना आसान है लेकिन एग्जीक्यूट करना मुश्किल है गंगा तो डिकमिशन है सर खटारा है इस प्लान में हम खुद अपनी गर्दन उनके हाथ में दे रहे हैं ऐसा ऑपरेशन तो दुनिया के इतिहास में पहली बार हो रहा होगा और वो भी दस दिन में रोको उसे उसे किसी की मदद नहीं मिलनी चाहिए पाकिस्तान को हमारी असलियत पता चली और हम पर हमला हुआ तो आप सिर्फ इंडियन पैसेंजर्स हैं और हर हाल में सिर्फ पैसेंजर्स ही रहेंगे पाकिस्तान में जाकर उन्हें रोकना ये हमारा मिशन है working with Anupam Kher and Vidya Jamwal Well Anupam Kher I haven't got any scenes with him uh, but I knew he was part of this film uh with Vidya uh, yeah it was great uh, it was brilliant a nice person uh yeah it was a uh, what can I say it was, it was great it was a brilliant experience lovely lovely person lovely gentleman Do you have any stunt scenes because uh, it's a spy thriller I can't give much away but if you watch the trailer I know you said you couldn't see me in the trailer but there's one little shot in the trailer where you see me and somebody else in kind of a, a grappling situation so I'm sure that will give it away that there are some some high octane acting uh, action scenes that I'm uh, a part of so uh, it's a uh, but the film is not just uh, is a great thing about about the story is not just um, a, a Uh, a spy thriller there's there's a lot of drama in it as well and there are elements of action i know vidit jamwal is known for his action films but i think this one is kind of taking a bit of a back seat because it is about this confidential mission like what happened in 1971 with this so indo pakistan it's inspired by true events it's inspired by true yeah. events inspired by true events so yeah i mean there are uh, like action the stuff that vidit uh, is known for you're going to see it but it's less of it and it's more of the the story and on what really happened so i think the fans are going to be very pleased with that and pleasantly surprised actually mm. when they watch it so is this like the first time your role is something of an antagonist a little no, the tv knows that done actually yeah. i've done actually tv because my unique selling point about me is that because i'm from england uh, i i can speak in a british accent and i can speak hindi very well like 90% i would say So whenever they do these period drama shows in India where they're talking about the East India Company when the British Raj was here uh, so uh, I'm always put forward for like the main main villain in these TV shows because I can speak the, the accent in the English and the accent and also I can speak Hindi like really really well so for them it's just easier having someone like me on board rather than getting someone else that doesn't know the language because it's tough it's very very tough so in TV in the TV world I played the the main antagonist in in the TV shows like Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Bidrohi. Uh, I did another one called Ikki um, Sarparosh Saragari, eighteen ninety seven, which actually was then made into a film by Akshay Kumar called Kesari. It came mm-hmm. about five six years ago. So the TV version came first. So yeah, so mainly TV. I I, I played the antagonist, but slowly it's changing though. Other projects that I've been a part of, uh, I've been playing positive characters. So that's good. that's very important for an actor not to be pigeonholed and just like be labeled a, a tv villain just you know so it's 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 good that those opportunities are coming my way or also in the movie footprints on water and that's getting yes. screened at the new york 
Indian Film Festival that's organized by the Indo-American Arts Council. And that's going to be in New York. I wish, I wish I could make it. I think the actual film's being screened on the, the 12th of May, I think, in, in, in New York. So my IV71 is releasing the same day. But they're actually, they're, they're previewing it. They're doing a screening of it at the, the UK Asian Film Festival in London, which falls on the 13th of May. So uh, my plan was to actually go to London to watch, watch um, Footprints on Water. But then the IV71 release date was announced. Yeah. And I thought, well, I better stay here for the, be here for the marketing, the publicity. And uh, because you know what they say, out of sight, out of mind. So yeah, just to be here while while it's a hot topic. Um, but yeah, I'm very you know it was it was great working on IV seven. Uh, sorry, it was great working on Footprints on Water because of the great Mr. Adil Hussein, who is just a phenomenal actor, a veteran, and uh, a generally a, a really nice individual to be around. So it was it just you know it, it was it was for an actor, uh, it was just a blessing. It was great. It is. It is. Was it hard for you to carve a niche for yourself in the entertainment industry in Mumbai with so much of fierce competition and oh, then you coming from England? Was it hard? It was hard, but when I came, because I moved here in 2011, so in, in the beginning I had that fire in my belly, you know, so I didn't care. You know, I said, this is my goal, you know, to get work, to be a Bollywood actor, and I'm just going to do it. Um, not taking any shortcuts, no casting couch or anything, but just honest hard work. Mm. Uh, so, but I don't know, I've just been very fortunate because I used to do acting back in England. So it's not like I'm a fresher. I am experienced. I've done professional stuff. Uh, and just um, coming to India, I think that was a, a, an advantage for me. And also the look as well. Like, that, like I said, this whole thing that, okay, am I Indian? Because I kind of look Indian, but I kind of look a bit foreign as well. Yeah. When I speak, I speak an English accent. Uh, in the beginning, my Hindi did have a bit of an accent, but now it's pretty much, uh, I kind of speak like one of the locals actually, which, which I've worked really hard towards. Uh, and I think um, the TV industry really helped me because here TV is so big. So when the audience see you on TV, yes. you kind of become a familiar face. And uh, the films that I've done also, uh, I've done a film called uh, Out of Time, which is a Hindi film, which actually released in the States. Mm. Uh, I've done, like I said, Mayor Mr. Right. I did a film called Hindi Medium with Irfan Khan. Uh, I did another film called Kya Kole Hum 3. So all these things, they, they, get, you, they get you noticed. And um, like I said, I'm a hard worker. I'm always pitching myself out there. I'm always auditioning. I'm always trying to improve, do different roles and stuff. And I think now, after 12 years of just working hard, I think now the door's slowly opening for me. It hasn't opened fully, but it's not closed as it was before. Now it's kind of opening a little bit. And I'm hoping that IMB 71 combined with Footprints on Water, that really just swings it open so that more offers come my way. And not just in Bollywood, in Hollywood, in, in, in England. Yes. So uh, that's the plan. Yeah, we live in a metaverse now. Everything is like all connected globally. So it's very different what it used to be some years ago. A, a new kind of a platform for many actors to move further on with their goals. So before lockdown, before COVID and the pandemic and stuff, we used to go to the studios all the time to do auditions and stuff. But obviously then when the pandemic happened, when there was lockdown in India, um, and then after when it was kind of lifted, people were still not comfortable going back into the studios. So now you can sell, send auditions from home. And like you said, because everything's so close now, like I can just send, if, I, if there's an acting gig in America and the casting director wants to see my audition, I can just record it on my phone and send it. So the world has gotten smaller, whereas before that wasn't the case, like you rightly said. So, um, so I'm really hoping to get some opportunities uh, in, in, in the States. Uh, yeah, that'll be hoping. great. That'll be awesome. Uh, you also have a movie called Rani, Rani, Rani coming up. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a, a great film that uh, has Tanishta Chatterjee in it. A, a, again, a wonderful actress. And it's actually a sci-fi film. It's about time travel. Mm. So it was very interesting to shoot that. And as we're doing this, uh, the festival circuit rounds, it's been released in London, uh, I think even in America, in New York, uh, a year or so ago, I think it was part of a festival there. Um, so I'm just hoping that that gets a release also. But that, yeah, that's a, that's a different film that's never been done in, in, in Bollywood before. And it's not really a Bollywood film. It's more of an independent film. I see. But like I said, the elements of sci-fi, uh, they did a real good job. Mm. Real good job. Just to touch if you know her work, She's a fabulous actress, and uh, really, she's like just she is carrying the film because she's playing Rani, the 
the main protagonist. Uh, so yeah, she's she, she's amazing. So yeah, I'm quite lucky. Worked with Adil Hussain, and I worked with Tanisha Chatterjee. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and you recently got married to Amarin Anjum. Yeah, Amarin Anjum, who's in RRR, the Oscar-winning film yes. RRR. So we got married last August. And uh, yeah, it's been great. Uh, we're getting our flat renovated at the moment, so we've been busy with that. And we also run uh, acting workshops together. So uh, we've been doing that also, like passing our knowledge to aspiring actors and people that are actually in the profession and are, are just looking to get like their cup refilled. So yeah, yeah. Do you do yeah, virtual workshops as well for actors? It did do so when uh, we started it when when lockdown happened. So we started it doing online actually. So our company is called Act with Confidence. Oh. So we've done about seven eight batches, and the advantage of having it online, you have you can have students from all over the world. Yeah. Uh, but but recently on Sunday we actually finished our first offline batch. So we finished our first physical workshop in front of people. So that was great. That was really good. And we're going to be having another batch in June. So we're hoping that more students will register. They will register. Uh, right. They will register. Well, after IB seventy one, what's next for you, Danny? So there's a couple of web series uh, I'm shooting for one web series at the moment. Um, I did another one uh, which I wrapped up uh, a couple of weeks ago. There's another web series that I've done with the uh, comedy genius V Das, Mr. V Das, which should be releasing hopefully in end of this year. Mm. So so potentially three projects releasing. Two of them will be next year because I just finished it now. But the Veed last project, hopefully this year, it should be coming out. Wow. And then I'm just hoping that IB71 as well, that just leads to yes. a, a bigger level. Well, so all eyes are on IB71 at this time as it gets released in India on May 12th. Good luck to you, Danny, and for all your future endeavors. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure talking to you, Dr. Yes. Rene. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Dr. Rene Merrill. Thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy. Stay positive.